Dateline Polk with news about your county government. I'm your host, Leanne Thomas. Today, you'll learn about county commissioners' actions from the May 20th meeting. The board unanimously approved a construction contract with Denson Construction Incorporated for bridge replacement on Old Bartow Lake Wells Road in Southeast Winter Haven. Denson Construction submitted the lowest bid at approximately $686,000. A 5% allowance was added to the contract, bringing it to approximately $720,700. We had an item before the board today for Denson Construction for a construction contract to do a bridge replacement on Old Bartow Lake Wells Road. It's an existing bridge that is uh, substandard in uh, the size width of it. And so basically we're replacing that bridge with a, a, a bridge that allows for uh, easier traffic, also allows shoulders along the roadway and provide better access and, and uh, ease for traffic to get across. Severe flooding in 2011 resulted in roadway failure of River Ranch Boulevard, stranding people in River Ranch. The board unanimously approved a construction contract for approximately $483,000 with L. Cobb Construction Incorporated for drainage improvements and work within the failed section of roadway. Four contractors submitted bids ranging from about $410,000 to $802,000. The lowest bidder's references showed no comparable work, so award recommendation was issued to L. Cobb Construction with no protest received. Uh, we brought before the board today a contract with L. Cobb Construction for some improvements on River Ranch Boulevard. Uh, back in 2011, there was some extreme flooding that washed out the roadway, and so we temporarily fixed the roadway and repaired it. Now we're looking at a long-term uh, repair to put the road back into better condition and also provide some additional culverts to allow water to flow more easily but underneath the roadway and uh, that project is slated to take about 120 days and hopefully will provide a little bit of relief for any uh, future flooding problems. The board unanimously approved a construction contract for approximately $644,000 with Cone and Graham Incorporated for bridge replacement on South Lake Reedy Boulevard in Frostproof. We brought a contract before the board for with Cone and Graham Construction to uh, construct a uh, bridge on Lake Reedy Boulevard. Uh, it's a replacement of an existing bridge that is substandard and this will allow for uh, better access and make a safer bridge crossing for the traveling public. The board unanimously approved a capital improvements program amendment for $150,000 to increase funding of the county's off-highway vehicle park project. The funding is needed to complete phase one of the project which includes the park entrance and road improvement. TECO utility infrastructure cost, building permit fees, and material testing. The board also approved a consultant services authorization with Jones Edmonds and Associates Incorporated to provide professional services to support an update to the Southwest Regional Utility Service Area Potable Water Master Plan for approximately $156,300. The consultant services authorization also included an associated capital improvements program amendment and budget transfer for $138,250. Hi, today the commission approved a contract to review and update the 2007 master plan for potable water master plan for the southwest service area. This service area is about 53 square miles in Polk County and the plan will assess where we are today and our water supply and our uh, system itself and then make recommendations for any improvements and upgrades that we need to do for the future so that we can be ready uh, and continue to be ready for the future. In other news, Yuli Cho, director of the Florida Health Department in Polk County, presented the county health rating and state of the health in Polk County. Today I presented on the state of the health on Polk and what the resource I used was the county health rankings which was released by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, the University of Wisconsin Public Health Institute. I'm happy to report that Polk is improving in both the health outcomes as well as the health factors. We have good programs in place that are 
making the community healthier and we should continue to support them. The board proclaimed May 19th through the 23rd as Senior Corps Week. Charlie Burdett, RSVP advisory board member, and Donna Delph accepted a proclamation. I'm thankful for the opportunities that I've been given. The good Lord has provided uh, with RSVP and volunteer polk. And I volunteer at the church service center mainly and also with the RSVP office. Yes, um, <clears throat> we were here to accept this proclamation from the um, county commissioners, uh, which recognizes yeah. the great contributions that volunteers in Polk County have made. Uh, essentially, um, RSVP is a part of the National Senior Corps program, uh, which uh, was started back in the 60s. Uh, actually, RSVP itself came into being in uh, 1971. Uh, since that time, uh, we're averaging uh, 320,000 people a year volunteering, giving up to 47 million hours of service throughout the country. Uh, here in Polk County, uh, we've contributed uh, over 14,000 hours uh, with a value of over $300,000 to the county. Patricia Smith Fields accepted a proclamation recognizing May 23rd through the 25th as Pewsville Community Weekend. The historic Pewsville Association will be celebrating its 16th year of community uh, festival event this Friday, May 23rd, 24th and 25th. And I was here today to receive a proclamation from the county on behalf of this celebration. And in doing so, this year we're honored to be honoring one of our Pewsville natives and Polk County employee, Mr. Harvey Green, who works for code enforcement. Christine Diaz with Commuter Services touted the success of Polk County's Commuter Services Day event held on May 16th in Fort Blunt Park in Bartow. Well, today we were here to give the results of our uh, big challenge that we did. Um, Friday was National Bike to Work Day and also Polk County's fifth anniversary for Commuter Services. We had many uh, program participants. We had over 25 different organizations participate. That table, they had a information, we had a bike rodeo, we had Safe Routes to School was there, all the constitutional offices. We actually had a big challenge. Uh, we had over 400 plus employees participate. We had other employees um, register and go online and, and update their information. It was a great opportunity to get everybody involved and educate them about alternative modes and all the great things that were happening. The board approved the appointment of Robert C. Chilton as an alternate code enforcement special magistrate. The agreement provides the alternate special magistrate a $500 stipend for each day of hearings and up to three training sessions. The agreement and appointment begins June 1st and expires May 31st, 2016. The board also approved a memorandum of understanding with the Central Florida Development Council. Well, today we are here at the Neil Comby building to see that our memor memorandum of understanding was passed. That allows us to go fully private in about a year and a half, allowing us to deliver future jobs to Polk County and grow our capital investment base. During afternoon public hearings, the board approved a county-initiated comprehensive plan text amendment adding solid waste management facilities and related terms as a specialized use in the infrastructure element, future land use element, and glossary. Now let's go to Todd Vargo from the Planning and Development Division with the Planning Commission update. Hi, my name is Todd Vargo and I'm a senior planner with Polk County's Land Development Division. I currently serve as the coordinator for the county's Planning Commission hearings. Here's a brief recap of the highlights from the May 7, 2014 Planning Commission meeting. Comprehensive Plan Amendment 14S06 is a request to change 1.77 acres at the corner of Duff and Kathleen Roads from Residential Low to Convenience Center. The Planning Commission voted 6-0 to recommend approval to the Board of County Commissioners. The BOCC will hear the case on July 8, 2014. Comprehensive Plan Amendment 14S10 is a request to change 1.5 acres at the corner of Creative Drive and South Florida Avenue from Business Park Center to Linear Commercial Corridor. 
In June, the Planning Commission is scheduled to hear a conditional use on this same site for a pool hall. The Planning Commission voted six to nothing to recommend approval to the BOCC. The BOCC will hear this case on July 8, 2014 as well. Finally, Comprehensive Plan Amendment 14C06 is a request to change 251 acres to industrial. The property is located north of the Polk Parkway, south of Highway 542 East, west of DeCastro Road, and east of Lasso Lane. The Planning Commission voted six to nothing to recommend approval to the BOCC. This is over 10 acres in size, so it is considered a large-scale comprehensive plan amendment, which means it will have two hearings before the BOCC. The BOCC will hear the case on June 3, 2014, to decide whether to transmit the case to the Department of Economic Opportunity for their review and comment. The BOCC will ultimately decide the case on August 5, 2014. If you have questions about any of these or any other upcoming cases, please contact our planner on call at 863-534-6084. To keep current with programs and progress in the county, visit us online at polk-county.net or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We encourage you to join us at the next scheduled board meeting at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, June 3rd. Thank you for watching this edition of Dateline Polk. Mm -hmm.